Hello, people. Today I'm here with my student, Guy Razor. And Razor, right? Razor. Uh, well, I wouldn't say Razor because it has a German heritage, so we actually should say Heiser, something Heiser. stronger, you know? <laughs> okay. And when you say student, that's very important because there's no exit student. Once you start studying with somebody, this person will always be your teacher. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. And he has lived one year in Ireland. So, today, we're going to talk about the differences between the American English and the British English. He doesn't like the American English. He doesn't like USA. He loves the British English, the British accent, and he has lived there. So, he has some things to share with us. We are going to show the differences in a dialogue, okay? So, Guy, let's start it. Let's start it, for example, as you are an American guy and I am a British dude. Uh, let's start a dialogue. Let's, let's, let's start have a conversation. Dialogue. Okay. I am going to a bar tonight. Right. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to a pub. And I would like to know what do you do in a bar? Well, I usually get wasted in a bar. Wasted? Wasted. What do you mean by wasted? When you get really drunk. You know? All right, I know this, but we use the term pissed. Pissed. Yesterday, I drank so much that I got pissed. Oh, gosh, that's <laughs> nice. Oh, sorry, buddy, but I can't drink too much tonight because tomorrow I'm going to the cinema to watch a film. You're going to the cinema? Cinema. We usually say go to the movies. Oh, um, to the movies to watch to films watch, yeah, to or watch movies. movies. <laughs> oh, to watch movies. Yeah. All right, to go to the movies to watch movies. So next month I'm going on vacation. Uh, vacation? That means a long period away from responsibility, like work and school. Got you know? it. Got it. We say holiday for that. You say holiday. Yeah, yeah, and that causes a lot of trouble when you are talking to somebody from South Africa or somebody from France or somebody from even Brazil. What? Because vacation and holiday, nobody knows which is right. So what about this vacation of yours? Do you have any plans? Where are you going? Yeah, actually, I'm going to take care of my backyard. Backyard? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that part behind my house. All right, got it. And that's actually another different word because in British English we usually say garden. Garden. When there's actually grass and some plants on yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, we yeah. say backyard. Backyard. That's nice. Backyard, that's a new word. And what about food? Is there any word that we misunderstood? Oh yeah, actually there is a few. One which is, I think, curious to bring here is one that is actually a trouble in Portuguese as well, which is biscuit. You know those little uh, snacks with chocolate on them? Yeah, we say cookies. Cookies in American, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we usually say biscuits for them. So, guys, this was a dialogue showing the differences between the American English and the British English. And thank you very much for your attention. Subscribe to my channel to more videos like this. This is my student, Guy Heiser, and we are very happy to have you here with us. Thank you very much for inviting me. And just to clarify something, I don't hate America <laughs> because I know that you guys are our Indians. <laughs> Americans are British Indians. Why not? That's true. That's true. I cannot... Disagree. <laughs> so that's it. See you guys. Bye bye.